you know, stuff like last year doesn't just happen. Well, this is huge. I mean, this is a great fit for Wisconsin, and this was already a good team. I don't think Wisconsin will change their recipe, a very successful one. All they've done is add a little bit of spice to it. Adding that new quarterback dynamic. Now they've got a three-year starter quarterback. Did you ever experience so much hype surrounding a season before it even begins? I think this is about as high as it can get. Drafted in the fourth round by the Rockies. He spent three seasons playing with NC State. He has one year of eligibility How left. Four-year starters of quarterback are there. He can help you win immediately. Russell Wilson can change the launch point get out of the pocket Which makes this team even more dangerous as good as advertised it'll be interesting to see what he can do on that off i'm saying national championship contender oh, here people God. want to embrace him people want him to be successful the most exciting quarterback that you could have i'm really curious to see him in pass my biggest concern is just seeing how well he can fit into that offense is that really enough time for him seems like the weight of the world is already getting put on his shoulders and he hadn't even put his hands under center yet The city of Madison, Wisconsin is better known as the city of Four Lakes. Madison may serve as the state capital, but Badger football holds complete sovereignty over the state. Coming off last year's Big Ten Championship, the 2011 Badgers have to start over with many new faces. And with 28 days remaining until the first game, a starting quarterback has not been named. And on the first night of camp, all eyes are on the newcomers. All right. Good start, five minutes early. I appreciate everybody getting up here. Food all right? I came into my office on a routine uh, day. I think I'd been out of town for a couple days. To start things off, we'll go with a long-standing tradition. Um, the freshmen will get up in the back. A pile of papers that come in while I'm gone, and on the top of the deck was a, a transcript release uh, from NC State for Russell Wilson. Stop, they'll give their name, the hometown of state, their high school, and then the position they're going to play here at the University of Wisconsin. Well, I'm Jeremiah. Parents, blood, Palm Beach. There was no section in the NCAA manual on how to recruit a fifth-year transfer. I actually wrote a piece of legislation trying to get me a waiver to go and visit his mom and his sister, Russell and his fiance. That was denied. A lot of emails and a lot of conversation. I was very upfront and forward with him about the way we do things here, and if he didn't like it, he didn't need to come. And somebody up here in the front. I'm Russell Wilson. Uh, I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I went to the collegiate school in Richmond, Virginia, and I went to NC State before this. But glad to be here. What position? Anybody else? Let's give them all one. As a three-year starter at NC State, the fifth-year transfer had his choice of virtually any school in the country. The decision came between the defending national champion Auburn Tigers and coming to Madison. Auburn and Wisconsin were both great schools, but I'm glad I decided on Wisconsin. You know, the tradition here, Coach Bielema and Coach Christ, their knowledge of the game, their understanding of, of the offense and what they believe in. And, Going into the season, my concerns were we, we didn't have very much experience. One of Russell's strengths is that he is experienced. Between myself, uh, Joey Brennan, and Joel Stave, the depth was a little low. Pretty excited that we were getting that kind of respect from a guy who had any team in the country that he wanted to go to. The main thing was the players at, at Wisconsin, and, you know, the experience that they had and the leadership that they already had. And I wanted to be a part of that. I think after the spring game as a head coach, you, know, you always try to emphasize the positives that you saw coming out of the game. You know, a lot of the weaknesses that the guys have is just where is their knowledge base and their comfort level with it. Paul had, uh, you know, devised this plan basically to use this entire first week equally between John and Russell. Let them both have a chance for success. The first thought that kind of goes through your head is, is, is this a replacement? Us pursuing R Russell had nothing to do with John's performance in the spring. John's got natural instincts. 
But I think he needs to get himself to where he's confident, trusting in himself, and cutting it loose a little bit. I think my biggest strength is my knowledge of the game. The big thing I work on is just being quicker. You know, Russell knows and, and understands the game. I think the biggest weakness is the terminology, uh, what we're doing in the run game. And playing at NC State beforehand, you know, I really learned how to practice hard and really be efficient. I don't try to go about tricking them or, or trying to test them or put them through anything. I think the game, it gives you enough of that. My goal is that each guy can be the best he can be. Just day one, but just what do you think of Wilson, Russell Wilson today? You know what? It, it, it's kind of what I thought I'd see. He's, he's got great composure. Um, he, he takes uh, the learning very, very easy. You know, on Monday when we start getting half pad, any quarterback can throw without pads on. But uh, I thought he showed some really nice things. For most quarterbacks, playing on the field is the easy part. But in the quarterback meeting room, the signal callers will surely be tested. Badger offensive coordinator Paul Christ is in charge of all things regarding the quarterback on and off the field. You know, the one expectation that I really believe is they've got to want to be the best quarterback they can be. And if that's the starting point, then you move forward. The coach wanted to know what was my approach going to be for camp. All right, and the biggest thing that you guys need to know, and, and I think you know, you've been exposed to it, but the biggest thing in here, there's got to be complete honesty. One of our initial conversations uh, between Coach Chris and I about the recruitment of Russell Wilson, he was very emphatic about tell them exactly what's going to happen. Okay, Russell transferring in. All right, glad that he's here. All right, Johnny. There's your competition. All right, that's that's what it is, and that's what every question is going to be about, right, Johnny? All right, and then Russell and all that stuff. That's why I got you guys sitting nice, so you can sing Kumbaya together and get real good about it. All right. You know, you always want to compete. You know, always want to be the best you can be every single day on the field. Coach Chris kind of stressed the importance of looking at it more as the competition is within yourself. Let's have a good camp, huh? I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> you know, you can ask Russell. I've never guaranteed him to come in and be our starter. I told him I'd give him the opportunity to come in and prove to be the best quarterback on our team. And if that happened, he'd get the starting nod. But you know, Russell's not the type of kid who wants to be handed anything. And I think that's an important point we made early, stayed constant, and stay true to today. The most popular morning ritual in Madison is Mickey's Dairy Bar, the hottest breakfast spot in town, and a weekly morning stop for the Badgers' offensive linemen. I think the quarterbacks should have taken us out there. Oh, yeah. oh, they're gonna, all we do is protect them, and they don't, they don't give us anything back. Even in high school, in high school our quarterback always gave us like candy bars after games. No, is your cheese different than his cheese? Okay, they keep dropping on here. What about a guy like also transferred in? You got you know, three years of camp under your belt, but at a different school, and then you come in, it's your first year again. I'm kind of interested to see if we change our offense a little bit, because we have a, like, a running quarterback now. I think it finally gives us, you know, with like some of those other schools have had, you know, with dual threat quarterback, and make it something happen with their feet. Have you seen his fiance? <laughs> <laughs> Russell's most daunting challenge as a rookie is simply fitting in with the team. And it's within this atmosphere of the locker room where the bond of his Badger teammates will be built. Wisconsin football is kind of the salt of the earth, blue collar, average guys doing extraordinary type things on the field. There, there's all different types of relationships, especially on a team. Prior to him coming in, I think there were some concerns, uh, you know, and rightfully so with, with uh, you know, some guys on the team of, how he was going to come in and get along with uh, the rest of the team. Everyone's kind of feeling out how he is. Like, is he going to be, you know, a cocky guy? You get this higher recruited type guy in Russell. Who knows what he'll be like? Is he going to bond well with the team? Is he just going to come in here and be one of the guys? You don't really know how it's going to mesh. My plan was to be myself, being charismatic, the guy that I try to normally be, and just have fun with it. He has a, a little little it factor to him. He's got a way to walk in the room and have people take presence and take notice of him being there. And it carries over to the football field. With Russell's arrival comes an impressive resume. 
Over 90 touchdowns in three years at North Carolina State. The most passes without an interception in NCAA history. All ACC honors and even a Colorado Rockies fourth round draft pick at second base. Are you looking forward to competing with him then for the job? Because as b has been saying all along, yeah. it's a competition. Highly recruited out of high school by top tier programs, quarterback John Budmeyer has patiently waited his turn at Wisconsin. He was the favorite to win the job vacated by Scott Tolzien just before Russell Wilson came to town. Have you had that kind of uh, welcome to being a Badger yet moment? The expectations, people uh, wishing you luck. What have you heard from people? Coach Chris, he was up front the whole time. And when I first got here, you know, I talked to the team, had a team meeting. Just told the guys that, you know, I'm here to work. I'm here to put in the effort every single day. From the outside looking in, yeah, it's a, it's a competition between guys, but we all have one common goal, and, and that's to win. Hey, we need all the freshmen on the floor right now. I think, you know, Wisconsin has a great opportunity. We're putting in all the hard work that's necessary. I always personally believe that we can put in more. My biggest concern coming in, you know, if, if Russell was going to be comfortable enough with the playbook. Either he's going to be the man or he's going to compete to be the man. Either way, I always think competition is something that breeds success. is in full effect Saturday. Trent Richardson and second-ranked Alabama host Tennessee at 7.15 on ESPN2. And Russell Wilson leads Wisconsin against Michigan State Stellar D at 8 on ESPN. College football lives here. For the Badger faithful, there's never been a better time to be a college football fan. In just five years as head coach in Madison, Brett Bielema has quickly amassed one of the best winning percentages in Wisconsin coaching history, including the first Rose Bowl berth in the last decade and a preseason ranking in the top 10. However, the cost of success is expectation, and with expectation brings a risk for failure. I think for preseason rankings, it's really about what you've done in the past. And for Wisconsin to be ranked the way we are, Obviously, we, we enjoy the recognition and everything that goes with it, but it's the postseason rankings that mean everything. When someone mentions the Big Ten, you hear Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, and now you're going to hear Nebraska. Uh, and then there's that little guy creeping up in the corner, Wisconsin, who's, you know, continually done good things. Uh, you know, I always say, you know, we're not the first girl asked to prom, but we're not the last. You know, the one and no philosophy is you take every day for what it is. You take one game at a time not worry about what's at the end of the rainbow, just trying to get through the season and, you know, how do you go from good to great? You know, the only way you can do that is whatever happens that first game, next week we got to be better, and that's having success. Heightened to an accelerated pace, the third practice finds both quarterbacks pushed to their mental and physical limits. The pads come on, two a day start going, and now you're kind of in that, that grind week. All right, get some movement on, Johnny. There you go. That's it. Good. Well, in terms of learning the new offense, I've had to really work at it. Yo, Pop, Max, Troop right. North, North Store. It's kind of like you're translating from Spanish to English. Yep. I see you. Or uh, ice flex. One word. Truck might mean something totally different. Oh, I'm ahead of it. Chef Dodge, go. Hey, you want to kill Pipe or Ranger Hat? Uh, go Pipe. Kill Pipe. You know what I mean on that, Russell? If you don't get it, just look at me. Yeah, we want to practice it, but we don't want to slow down the tempo. Even a little sooner. 
Drive ball, here we go. That's the way I see it, Russell. Here we go, Johnny, let's go. Attack, attack, attack. There you go, drive it if you can. Ready, guarantee it. Struggling to match Wilson's physicality, John Budmeyer's arm can't keep up, but he continues to battle through the pain for the starting job. You doing all right? Um, you know, it, kind of being a thrower, you, you know your body as well as anybody, and um, started to feel soreness. All right, second day, let's go, John, get back here. Ah! Don't be forcing shit. Well, right now, uh, John's had a little bit of a, a physical setback. It's not as pronounced to the right, but you're dropping it a little bit. With numbness in his right arm, John Budmeyer is forced to cut practice short. It dropped just a little bit, and I think you're almost overcompensating now. Okay. You know what I mean? I love being out there playing the game. I love the game, and um, not being able to do that, um, obviously, a uh, little disappointing for me. As a precautionary measure, John Budmeyer decides to take a visit to the University Health Center. Once I felt it get to a point where I didn't feel like I could compete or play at the level uh, that I was capable of, then I decided, you know, this is, it's time to kind of get this looked at. Fortunately for us, the x-rays came back negative, which I think relieved John. He's just unfortunately going through some swelling right now, and as soon as that gets back, he'll be able to come back out there. It's kind of just a wait and see right now for John. My biggest thing is just staying positive, keep taking it one day at a time, and I'll be back out there soon. With Bud Meyer now out for the foreseeable future, the pressure on transfer Russell Wilson greatly intensifies. You say it's John and, and Russell competing for it. Russell obviously has been getting a, a tremendous amount of work. Listen up, listen up. Gun trio left her. South, South, South Tampa. Here we go. Gun yo, trio lion. Uh, yo, gun yo, trio lion. Protection coach Chris. He's not going that far out, is he? Stay out, stay out, right? Am I in here or no? As a quarterback, you always have to get through your progressions quickly. And I think that's something you always got to work on. No matter how long you've been in the offense, you always want to learn more. King left, watch mix. Chili back, phony. Chili back, zebra, phony. Zebra. Well, you know, we're three weeks out uh, yesterday, so we're you know, a little bit of ways removed from preparing for UNLV and locking in on that. You know, we won't make a formal decision until, you know, we get closer to the game time, but if you just kind of watch the reps and how things are going on at practice, you begin to understand where we're going. And I think the freshmen need to stand up for a minute. Let's have the freshmen stand up. Freshmen, you need to stretch a little bit here, okay? Stand up. You need to know the fight song in the University of Wisconsin. All these, all your lips better be moving, okay? I'll start you out. Fight song, I'm still trying to learn. It's week one, but it goes something like, on Wisconsin, on Wisconsin, then I don't know the rest, so go Wisconsin. I remember my first year as a head coach, I was somewhere and uh, we had to sing it, and the lady grabbed my hand next to me, she goes, you don't know the words. I said, I, do. I will by the end of the year, I promise. Hey, Russell Nelson with ESPN, nice, nice to meet you. Nelson, Come on in, have a seat right here, we'll get you wired up. Quarterback Russell Wilson joins us. Russell, what do you expect from Big Ten football compared to life earlier in the ACC? Yeah, I'm not really sure yet. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to be a part of the Big Ten. We got a long way to go yet, correct? Have you earned anything yet? You know, I've been able to watch these guys work throughout the summer, and uh, these first couple practices have been very excited about the growth that all those guys have had. Good job, folks. Good job. What do you know about the Madison culture right now that you're most looking forward to? I'm looking for the jump around. I'm looking for uh, just being able to play, you know, with a great group of guys and great fans and in a great area. The best thing is just being with the guys, being on the football field. I'm really excited about being able to throw the football, being able to run. Don't be satisfied with today, because this team could be something good if you just keep pushing. All right, Russell Wilson, thanks for joining us on the Direct TV bus. Good luck this season with Wisconsin. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. A lot of teams in the country won't waste a two day. Let's be one of them. Let's go. You know about three. One, two, three. You know. Moving Day, an annual symbol of change for the most popular of college towns. There's no escaping it, including one of the Badgers' senior players. 
go. Nate Tice. Uh, his dad is uh, played in the NFL, coaching, you know, Mike Tyson. When we made the decision to bring him here, I know I had a conversation with Mike and just said, Coach, I really can't promise anything from a playing standpoint, but, you know, I would love to have him in the program and see what he can do. I've put in the work and try to learn offense as well as, you know, as any player on the team or as some of the coaches try to get up to their level. And I kind of see myself as, you know, Coach Chris's right-hand man. Coaching, I always laugh and say, you know, it's the family business. I think Nate gives big picture perspective and shares it with the group, particularly the young guys. And I think it's been beneficial for uh, Russell because he wasn't really a threat from a playing standpoint, but he's a great resource for knowledge. Hours before the first scrimmage, Russell Wilson is spared from the dreaded rigors of moving day. He takes each and every moment possible memorizing the playbook. As the new kid in town acclimates himself with his teammates, it's a natural fit that one of Russell's closest connections is senior wide receiver Nick Toon. When Russell first got here, you know, we hit it off. We just kind of sat down, talked about football, talked about life, and, you know, our personalities are very similar. You know who I got, the Saints. Yeah, yeah. Getting to know Nick and you know, on and off the field is a, is a privilege, but it's always fun beating him in Madden. Do you read coverages the same way you would read them on the field when you're playing? Yeah. Uh, I always joke with him and say he has an unfair advantage because he's a quarterback. High corner. I don't know if that's true or not. It probably is a little bit true because I can basically tell what defense he, he's in, you know, as soon as I snap the ball, so. Ready for his first game, man? Yeah, man, I'm excited. It should be good. Under the lights, it's nuts in camp land all night. I don't have to follow you on game day, figure out where I'm going. I got you. Touchdown. Yeah, his DBs need to make some plays. Good game. Play again soon. With the injury to John Budmeyer, uncertainty still lingers around the quarterback depth chart. And who will fill in the number two spot? You're going to go right from hash to hash, like we do on game week Thursdays. You really want to make sure that the kid is good, you know, that he's mentally and physically knows that he's going to be all right. As a football coach, um, you have to balance that with also understanding, hey, I have to get a guy ready to play. Here we go, rules of the day. All right, first off, today we're playing Wisconsin versus Wisconsin. I want to see that type of football. Be smart about hits, right? Nobody comes close to the green. All right, everybody understand that? One's one's, here we go. First down, play second down. Just two weeks before the season opener, the first scrimmage becomes a proving ground for Russell as he takes control of the offense. I don't think I've ever been around a kid that has been able to grasp things as fast and as quickly and precisely as you need him to be as fast as he's done to this point. Yellow Yankee scissors on one and three. Seven times, go! Win, win, win. Good job, Pat. Ah, there you go. Oh. Right there. Good, good. Ooh. The great thing is, Russell understands what, what's trying to be done. He understands the concept. But you have to make sure that you've got a backup quarterback. So we got to get someone ready. As one of the top recruits from New Jersey, Joey Brennan turned down offers from Miami, Rutgers, and Stanford before committing to Wisconsin. Joey Brennan has really... Um, from last spring to where he is now is probably developed as any player in our program. The one thing you never have to worry about Joey is his commitment. When he started in the spring, he couldn't, you know, couldn't read off his most simple play, just, you know, a simple zone or something. But now he's got motion shifts. You know, when Johnny just went down, I, I looked at it as an opportunity. You know, just be able to show my skills and show Coach what I could do. Hey, come out throwing it, Joey. If you get rid of that ball there, Joey, that's a big play. Okay, as we go, Russell, right now, all right, what run could you run? You got two backs in there, and you got two tight ends. Ilex, what run could you go to right here? Well, we could go to fire Bob to the yep. right or to the left uh, with two backs. We could go um, ice, ice Panther, right? Bingo. Driving it into that first window, this is a hell of a throw. All right, that's it right there. This is where a quarterback makes his mark, third down. All right, third down and in the red zone. This is big time right there. 
Even with Wisconsin's storied past, they are still on the hunt for their first national championship. To point them closer to that goal, the team gets a visit from a living legend. Okay, gentlemen, like I said, i uh, got a lot of people coming in to talk to you, but uh, nobody more important than the next individual. We have 105 football players in here. 105 players were invited to camp. And I think it's important for every one of you to understand that each and every one of you have a role. You all can't be starters. You have a group of guys that are starters. You have another group of guys that are, I call the travel squad. They're the ones walking with the coaches up and down the sidelines. You're gonna be actively involved in the game. You're gonna have backups. Some of you will never touch the field on Saturday. You're gonna be on the scout team. And you know what? That's pretty damn important. No one knows what's gonna, what it is, but you will have adversity as the season goes along. That's when guys have to step up. The backup has to step up. Everyone else has to play a little close. You got a chance to be a hell of a team if everybody takes care of their business, knows what their role is, and understands that their role is important, and you do it as well as you possibly can. Good luck, guys. You know we're going to be pulling for you. You want to go? Midway through camp, the quarterback's focus is crucial as their roles are quickly evolving. The Badgers receive final word that John Budmeyer will need surgery. Locking in Russell Wilson as the starter and Joey Brennan at the two spot. So let's go. Woo! All day. All day. John as a human being is just dealing with it. First down. Now he's seen Russell kind of move in as the starting quarterback in our program, and now he, he can only do is help the guys and move forward. Stem, I, left, walk, ice, wrap, panther. Touchdown. Oh, what a catch. Even with the depth chart set, there's a looming question. If Russell goes down, can a young, inexperienced Joey Brennan handle the pressure? Hey, there you go, Joey. Come out, go on, Joey. When he knows what he's doing, when he's playing confident, I think he's very good. But there's also times where you can see, you know, Joey getting stuck and uh, questioning himself. Leap gun. Fired. I'm going to go out in this run. Leap, gun to your right, fire, pull my kill, fire, even breathe. Ready, fight! Joey, uh, you know, he's sometimes his own worst enemy because he's so hard on He's such a perfectionist. You! Watch out behind, guys. That's it. Uh, you, Stop you missing, too man. Much, right, Joey? Zach, can I see your shirt? You know, I kind of take it as if there's someone out there who's, who's working 10 times harder than you, you know, and every, every day counts, and, you know, every rep counts. Gun to your right, fire, pull my kill, Fires Eva Reed. You know, I love the way Joey goes about his business. Football is important to him. He works at it. He's passionate about the game. And uh, as long as he keeps that, he, he's fun to coach. Leap, gun, steal, right, fire, puma, kill. Fires Eva Reed. Too soon. Reed. You got more Leap, time, Josh. Steal, right, fire, puma, kill. Fires Eva Reed. Pull up. Joe and I have talked a lot about um, different things, and I try to give him a little advice here and there. And that's the best thing about him. He really works hard at it, and he really wants to learn. He asks a lot of different questions, and you know, he's a great student of the game. You know, I feel I feel good. I feel confident. Um, I definitely feel like I could step into that number two role and be Russell's backup. As the coaching staff looks to close out camp, on this, the last two-a-day, the players take advantage of every opportunity given to rest up their bodies and minds. Not always, you know, being in the playbook 24-7, you know, get to get out and just kind of relax your mind. Uh, can I get one cheese and one pepperoni pizza, please? Sure thing. It's not like, you know, anyone's really, oh, it's just about me. You know, I'm the quarterback. Got cheese on top of the We all are able to work together when it's on the field, and then we get along pretty well when it's off the field, too. Oh, you got a big one there, Stops. There's no tension around us, and, you know, we laugh it up. <laughs> it's a team-first attitude, and I think all the quarterbacks are bought into that. Oh, That's such a good idea, so. Yeah, that was good, though. Oh, do that again. Yeah.
With nine days remaining until the season opener, the final practice of a long two-a-day represents the very last session of camp. I think we're right on pace. Uh, we got a great one tonight uh, under the lights. Good one meeting in tomorrow. Get a good one tonight. Let's go. I think right now, I think the guys know the offense. All right, Z's up outside, hip start, no turn off. Yeah, I think we're, we're on course to where we've got to be. As I've gotten to know Russell, the part that I've really been impressed with is the big picture approach he takes to everything. I love the way that he approaches it. There's, there's great attention to detail. Joy Brennan's like night and day. Yeah. Being that number two role, you're able to see things, see experiences, and just learn from them. That's it. And we were all excited to get that last practice out of the way. And Coach Bielma called everybody up, and he challenged the starting kicker to kick it out of the back of the end zone. Here's the deal. The learner puts it in the end zone. It's the last play of the practice, right here. And we were screaming in his ears as loud as we could. He kicks it off. We all sprint down. Uh, you would have thought I'd just bought them all a car. I mean, they went nuts. The end of camp is always, uh, I know it's always special for our players. I think our guys ended up celebrating by everybody jumping in the pool. I hated it. I mean, I hated it. We had a lot of chance. You know, I want to give Russell that many more reps. I think Brett felt the team, you know, needed a break. I was happy with that celebration and some of the other ones that have gone around the world of college football. Nowhere else in America does the tradition of football run as deep in the blood as Wisconsin, serving as a rite of passion for a team dating back over 120 years, which eats, lives, and breathes college football every second of the day. A tradition that Russell Wilson has embraced. Well, my brother Harry Wilson uh, lives in Chicago. He's, he's one of my best friends for sure. How, uh, how much are you going to let me come up here and visit? So what? I said, how much are you going to let me come up here and visit? You must have just give me a key. Yeah, Coach Chris and I were talking about that the other day, how you're going to be trying to take over that couch over there. The couch? Yeah. you got a second bedroom. Well, you're not happy. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you think Dad would be, would be saying right now? I don't know, man. He could be getting excited for me, you know. He'd probably be up here, drive up here. He wouldn't fly. I'd drive up here and just <laughs> tell me to be the best, you know, every day. Well, my dad, you know, passed away the day after my, my brother got drafted by the Colorado Rockies. He would always interview me. I don't know if you, I mean, I'm sure you were around when he did it a couple times, but he would always interview me like, Russell Wilson, Super Bowl winning quarterback. <laughs> You know, this type of questions like that. My dad always encouraged me to stay positive and keep working hard and, and never settle. He's with me everywhere I go. I'm, I know he's watching me playing these games. Let me pray, amen. Let's eat. A special afternoon at Camp Randall Stadium gives Russell a unique meeting with his new extended family. Because of the fashion he came in, it was kind of their first opportunity to be up close and personal. Is that one? Yeah, no problem. I'm going to sit in the front or the back. It was pretty cool seeing the Badger fans just run down the hill and running into the gates. You know, they, they don't really know who you are, and they just they love watching you play. And that's the fun part. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, man. I think there were some people outside the lines actually stretching for that sprint uh, because they knew it was going to be a long one. But every year, the same families come back. They take pictures. Put your phone up here. Big, big letters? I think I've been a number of uh, Christmas cards uh, out of that family fun day. It's kind of always funny uh, to kind of think about the humbling experience for everybody. Yeah, let's just squeeze it in here a little bit. Everybody squeeze together. Right here, one, two, that's great, thank you. Hey, all Wisconsin guys. Okay, everybody, right up with me. Here we go. One, two, three, that's a good start. Yeah. Hug you. Yeah. Jeez. I don't know why people, all those people are waiting for. Well, I met Ashton, uh, my fiance, uh, when I was in high school, and 
Um, we've been together, you know, ever since. And you had a pop here and we moved. I went to the... they, thought, they thought it was Carlton Fresh, and uh, Will Smith from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. That's why they were waiting so long. <laughs> Will Smith More and like Carlton. Will Smith. <laughs> You're Carlton. One of the best things about Ashton is that she always supports me. She's always um, got my back and she always, um, you know, encourages me to do the best that I can. I do the same for her. All right, sounds good. Love Bye. you, buddy. I'll call you later. Okay. Okay, love you. Love you. Bye, Penny. I'll, I should be done. I don't know, nine ish. Okay. I would think. All right. Love you guys. See you, bro. See ya. The very last meeting of camp may be the most vital as the team decides their leaders. What I want to do here tonight, uh, we tally the votes. I'm going to give a chance uh, uh, for the captains to say a few words. You guys elected four guys who kind of uh, ran away with the voting. Um, uh, but this is uh, just the start of hopefully, I think, of some good signs for things to come. So start off, we'll, we'll start off on the defense side of the ball. Uh, first captain, uh, give, let's welcome Patrick Butcham. I just look around the room, and we got a lot of talent. we got great chemistry, and I'm really excited to, to do it with you guys. So once again, thanks again. Stay on the defense side of the ball. Mr. Aaron Henry. Um, thank you guys for the opportunity. Um, I can remember standing here a couple years ago and um, seeing some guys being voted for this man, but it's truly, truly um, a, an amazing feeling, fellas. On the offense side of the ball, welcome Brady Ewing. It is it's such an honor. It's something I'm not going to take lightly. Um, getting kind of emotional right here. Uh, it's just an honor to represent you guys, um, kind of reiter reiterating what everyone else said. Um, we have so many good leaders in this room. And uh, don't take that lightly, fellas. Um, that's all I got. Dylan Brady. And welcome quarterback Russell Wilson. You know, I haven't been here very long, but I know that there's so many different guys in here that you know have led this team to a lot of great things. And you know, I want to be a part of something really special here. You know, and I feel like, you know, like I told y'all several times, I feel like I've this is my family for sure. You know, I feel like I've been here forever, but uh, I think that we got something really special in here. And every single day, it's got to be a part. We, every single person in this room has got to be a part of that. And every, everybody in this room has to be truly dedicated to that. And I promise you, I will be. It's an honor to be a part of this team. It's an honor for me to be here in Madison, Wisconsin with you guys and playing this, you know, this season with you. So really appreciate it, and I uh, love you guys more than anything. Feeling Russ. Um, just to talk a little bit about this week, we're going to do a mock game under the lights. It's very important for us and to get our guys to really focus in the last few days of preparation on the details of winning. So we're going to kind of back off a little bit as far as practice and reps. I will get your legs back. The moment arrives for the team to make final preparations for the season opener with a mock game. Have we earned anything yet? Nothing, right? We haven't earned one thing. But we've, we've, we've put in a lot of work, and it's going to be coming, all right? Any questions? The uh, football team kicks off 2011 season this Thursday against UNLV at 7 p.m. at Camp Randall Stadium. Obviously, the first time at Camp Randall under the lights in front of 80,000. You want a national TV. You want to uh, put on a good showing. But just knowing Russell and engaging him, I would guess that's not on his agenda. He's going to worry about you know making a first down. You know, I think the closer you get to the game, you really have to get really focused and, you know, play within a little bit of an edge, and it's pretty exciting. To be the first game of national TV to open up the 2011 college football world on a Thursday night, a very unique thing is, is going to be special. Game day, baby. Yep. Russell just seems to be very comfortable. Everything he handles during practice is the exact same way every day, and I gotta believe that game day is not gonna be much different. Listen up, float tweak packer, silver dime on the quick 33. In and out, in and out. Should have dodged. Should have turned. On and go. First down, good job. Here you go. Why should it go? Touchdown. When we first decided to recruit Russell, um, you know, to me, I knew he was a good football player. You, you saw the stats and you saw the film and all that goes into it. But I wanted to make sure that everything that I thought has happened was going to happen. This is the front of ESPN webpage this morning where it says Badgers will test powerhouse label. You know, when the game's on the line, I want the ball in my hands. You know, when I'm standing out there on the practice field, I picture myself within the game with, you know, 80,000 people in the stands and just screaming on top of their lungs and just keeps me poised out in the field and keeps me playing with confidence. 
It's all about how we handle our business from this day forward. We're going to need everybody in it. It's all on our shoulders, man. It's all on our shoulders. It is a hot one today in Madison, 93 degrees right now. Feels like it's 99 outside. By kickoff tonight, it should be about 89 degrees. Game day itself is kind of a, uh, it's a very religious experience for us here. We've been very successful here in Camp Randall. We come here to the stadium, we get dropped off in the arches. For me personally, I just like to have my headphones on listen to my favorite tunes and, and kind of just focus on the details of the game. Could the story of the 2011 Badgers hinge around Russell Wilson? Well, that's been the story so far. And I think so many people are very interested tonight to see how Russell Wilson translates as a Badger quarterback in this offense. First of all, I was really excited to play. You know, just um, all the work you've been putting in through camp. Pre-game, I like the, you know, kind of the look in their eye that felt like they were focused. For me, I believe that you know when you're prepared, you're not nervous. You know you play with confidence, play with a little swagger, and you're just excited and ready to go. That's where I was mentally in terms of preparation for the game. I do believe that now Wisconsin's in the conversation uh, with all the heavyweights. That's what you want. You want expectations. I think it was Peter Kahn said, "Let's embrace the expectations." Welcome to Wisconsin football. Finally a game to talk about as the Wisconsin Badgers have at it with the UNLV Rebels. It was pretty exciting, you know, running out in the field for the first time. You know, here with the fans here at Wisconsin, it's pretty, it's pretty spectacular with, you know, 80 plus thousand fans, especially playing on a Thursday night to open up the season with college football. The 2011 season is underway. People have been waiting for Russell Wilson to finally set foot on the field in the offensive huddle. Center dodge. Center dodge. Russell Wilson ducks under his center. Peter Kahn's play fake. Wilson rolls off to his right, buys some time, shoots it right side. Caught by Everett Harris inside the 10 yard line. That looked pretty smooth. Touchdown. Wilson back to throw. Left side pass. Wide open. Monty Paul makes the catch. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And a little more than three minutes into the season, it's 6-0 Wisconsin. Okay, nice job. Let's get the ball back and do it again now. Hey, when we got rolling, Russell handled the game great. He handled the crowd, the expectations, everything uh, really smoothly. It was great to see it. Wilson, play fake. Little roll to the right, looking, sets, throws, deep right side for Nick Toon, reaches up, got it, inside the 30. Well, that's a great play on both ends. Looking, has time, shoots it over the middle, Nick Toon, the catch, inside the five, hand off James White over the right side, crashes into the end zone. They get 19 nothing. the Badgers. Yeah, we go for game, baby. Yep. Do that all year. Yeah, Welcome to the Wisconsin 46 yard line. Back the ball. Yep. Russell. Hey, what about popping into no huddle here? Eleven, just working two minutes. But all my chips in <laughs> All your chips are in? Then we're calling it. Ball to his right, Wilson back to throw. Four man UNLV rush. Russell last time. Now he'll run. 45, Wilson to 40. 35, cuts right 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin! Get the ball up. We get the Hello, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. I'm not really that fat. I just I have a really good vision. I'm quick. So okay. I, I, I wait till the last minute. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not, I mean, not like crazy fast. Fast enough. At the half, Wisconsin 37, UNLV 3. I think the identity of you know, this Wisconsin football team in 2011 is guys who really work hard, you know, just having that determination, having that, that will, and having that desire to be great and not just average. Two things that I loved about the game was the way we started the game and the way that we started the second half. Both of them were very efficient. Players were locked in. Eleven. Gun trail right. Bug drive ball. Wilson back to throw. Looking. Sats. Pressure. Now he'll run. The fact that he was able to do what he did at NC State and then had the professional opportunity in baseball, that's what's put him in the position he's in right now is because he can handle the big stage. Wilson. Play action. Throws right side. Wide open. Jacob Patterson. Got it. Touchdown, Wisconsin. That was easy. I thought that uh, Russell did some good things. You could see him. Uh, enjoying playing with his new teammates, and you can see our our guys enjoying playing with him. And this is our team, and, and there's not the 
our team and Russell, or Russell and our team. It's just one team. I think that's what I liked. I, I saw that come together. Okay, Joey, get loose. Make, make sure Joey gets loose and takes snaps. I think a great thing that came out of the game was to get into our depth chart, to be able to um, you know, get to the number two quarterback and have him play an entire quarter is, is priceless in value. You good, man. Play ball. You good. They'll be good to go. Go ahead and think about that. Loss of one on play. So Brandon's got to be kind of nervous now, don't you think? Yeah, I would imagine the pulse rates up a little bit. I definitely had my some jitters, but uh, on the first pass, uh, nope, sailing it about 50 feet over the attendant wide receiver's head. My left side, and it's overshot. The thing I loved about Joey is he got better with every series. There at the end, it was actually their starters were still in there, and he was able to move the ball. He was in the game and, and uh, really, really developed nicely and hopefully continue uh, to, to have improvement. Those are great experiences, and, and you can't replace game experience and game reps. And the beat goes on. The Badgers take care of business in another opener. Very convincingly so. Great coach Russell Wilson had 317 total yards tonight. That's the most by a Badger quarterback in their debut. What do you think about his play tonight? I thought he threw the ball exceptionally well and made some calls at line of scrimmage, but we'll all get better. A lot of things to clean up. Now, where are we at? How many games we won? Does that factor in the next week at all? All right. Now, one game at a time, I will tell you this. I'm very excited about this group. A lot of positive things, all right? But let's just move forward. Be smart tonight. Need everybody back with us, all right? 1-0 on three. One, two, three. 1-0. <laughs> nice to finally see you play. Good job, Buck. The great thing was it was our first game with Russell, but it wasn't his first game. To get a guy that's had three years of seasoned experience um, and to see now how he handles the game, I realize what he can kind of take on, what we probably got to protect him from. Uh, but his skill set's off the charts, and I think the more he gets familiar with our guys, uh, the better that'll become, which is, is great. I'm really excited about this team. Now that we've got something on film, we, we put it into motion in the game, I, th I think this team's going to be really special. One thing you can definitely notice about our team is, you know, we play for each other, and we truly attack each day, and uh, very eager to win. You know, the first start was good. And everything but uh, you know I got got to move on and get ready for the next week and after the first game you know I, I, you kind of think about you know all the things that you know when you're going through the recruiting process of all the, th the positive things they tell you about Wisconsin you know to be honest with you it's everything and more you know it really is you know truly special to play here my dad in high school used to tell me man Wisconsin's a great place to play football you know, he's exactly right he's a Badger fan I know that and he's watching every game I'm glad I'm here. It's uh, truly a blessing. And 